everyone, my name is Joey here for DFB and today we're going to be taking a look at Plaza Ice Cream Parlor. This is located on Main Street USA and we find it to be one of the best and most nostalgic places for ice cream in the Magic Kingdom. Decor is an old fashioned ice cream parlor with lots of painted portraits and pastel colors. The inside of the shop is a little on the tiny side and there's no inside seating, but the preparing area is open so you can see your orders being made by the cast members. Outside is a seating area that is often very crowded with pretty yellow tables and chairs and umbrellas for some shade. We find it to be one of the best places to sit in Magic Kingdom since it offers amazing views for people watching on Main Street USA, views of Cinderella Castle and of the parade. Alright, so let's take a look at the food. All of the ice creams here are made by Edie's and on the menu are a few different sundae options floats, and even a Mickey's Kitchen Sink Sundae, which comes with two scoops of ice cream, toppings, and comes in souvenir Mickey Mouse pants. But the ice cream flavors available here are vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, mint chocolate chip, and cookies and cream. They also offer no sugar added butter pecan and raspberry sorbet, as well as no sugar added and fat free chocolate vanilla swirl. Allergy friendly tofuti and rice dream desserts are available upon request. First up, let's take a look at the Plaza Ice Cream Sundae. This one is $5.39 and is snack credit eligible. It comes with your choice of two scoops of ice cream, hot fudge, a massive amount of whipped cream, and topped with a cherry. It's served in a house-made waffle bowl, which is placed in a plastic bowl for easy carrying. We ordered ours with one scoop of chocolate and one scoop cookies and cream. So yes, you can request more than one flavor. It's pretty simple, but it's a great go-to classic. The waffle bowl actually tastes fresh and crisp, and the sundae is a great size. Next up, we have the ice cream cookie sandwich. This one is $5.29 and is also snack credit eligible. It comes with two large and fresh chocolate chip cookies and your choice of ice cream sandwiched in between. We tried ours with the butter pecan ice cream since we hadn't tried their no sugar added options before. And if we hadn't been told that it was no sugar added, we never would have known the difference. It had the exact same texture and still tasted very rich and very delicious. To make your sandwich more fun, we suggest adding a topping. They're 69 cents each and you have the option of hot fudge, caramel, or peanut butter. You can add them to any item on the menu, but so far our favorite has been with the ice cream sandwiches. We wanted to try the caramel with our butter pecan ice cream. The caramel is the only topping offered that is not served warm, but regardless of which one you get, all of them are served in a cup on the side. Adding the extra flavor of the topping takes the already delicious ice cream cookie sandwich to another level and has become one of our favorite ice cream snacks. And finally, we wanted to take a look at the Mickey Mouse Kids Cone. This one is $2.99 and is also snack credit eligible. It comes in a sugar cone with a wrapper and one scoop of ice cream. And then for his ears, they place two milk chocolate coins on the sides of the scoop. This automatically comes with vanilla ice cream, but feel free to request any flavor that you'd like and they'll happily swap it for you. This was an absolutely perfect small ice cream snack that is a great size for not just kids, but adults too. We usually grab one whenever we want just a little bit of ice cream without wanting anything too much. And for the price, you can't beat it. To wrap up, we really love the old-fashioned curb appeal of Plaza Ice Cream Parlor and feel that they have a nice variety of options. If you find yourself in Magic Kingdom with a craving for some ice cream, we definitely suggest stopping by here. But that is just about it for this one. Have you tried the ice cream here before? And if so, what are your favorite flavors? Let us know in the comments. Once again for DFB, my name's Joey, and we'll see you in the next video.